Hi, I'm Lisa Bronner, and today we're going green with a tour of our liquid Castile soap production here at the Dr. Bronner's headquarters in Vista, California. My grandfather brewed his first batch of soap in a tenement apartment in Los Angeles, and now we've grown to this 125,000 square foot factory. All the magic is made right here. Ingredients come in from around the globe and get shipped out as finished soap. Liquid soap production begins out back, so let's catch a ride. Every company needs an awesome repurposed fire truck. Thanks, Cassidy. This mural was painted in memory of my uncle Ralph Bronner, who carried the soul of Dr. Bronner's for many years. He passed away in 2015, but this commemorates two of his great passions, helping children and playing folk music. This heart contains the handprints of all the Bronner family. Here is where our raw materials come in and are stored. These tanks store our major oils for liquid soap production, coconut, olive, and palm kernel. The coconut oil comes in from our fair trade sister projects in Sri Lanka and Samoa. Our olive oil is supplied by fair trade farmers in both Palestine and Israel, blending the efforts of many backgrounds and beautifully symbolizing Dr. Bronner's all one ideal. Our fair trade palm kernel oil comes from Ecuador, where palm trees do not displace primates or other animals from their natural habitat. We go through one shipping container that's 40,000 pounds of coconut oil every 1.3 days. We're standing here in front of the main soap reactor, and with me is Ishmael, our master soap maker. He makes 3,000 gallons of soap in each batch and three to five batches per day. That's 2.7 million gallons of soap in one year. At the end of the process, soap is really hot. If we bottled it immediately, the bottles would melt. Instead, it cools in these cooling tanks and then travels through this beautiful manifold into the appropriate holding tank to await bottling. The interior tank farm holds finished soap. The colors of the tank correspond with their scent. So we have dark blue for peppermint, light blue for unscented, the yellow for citrus, and lavender for, well, lavender. This is the gorgeous centerpiece of the plant for me. This soap right here is what it's all about. During my grandfather's time, every bottle of soap was filled by hand with gravity-fed lines, and every label was a sticker applied by hand. Since then, to keep up with demand, we've installed five automated filling machines, but we still use these gravity-fed lines for hand-filling smaller runs. When we made this conversion, we retrained our employees, so there was no job loss. We just made it so that every person's efforts were multiplied. Here we are in the middle of the automated bottling area and it is loud. This is the most mesmerizing part of the plant floor. The day we got our first automated bottler was a game changer. It allowed us to keep up with orders. Without them, some of you would not be able to get our soap. This setup right here is called the monoblock filler. It can take pallets of empty bottles and turn them into pallets of box soap. We use this machine to fill our quart castiles, our most popular size. In fact, Almost 50% of our sales come from Port Castile alone. This is what kids who play with Legos build when they grow up. Each of these machines has a very specific purpose. This one's sole purpose is to put the bottles right side up. This is the filler. Here is the capper. Next comes the labeler, the lot coder, the sealer, a box building machine delivers an open box underneath the bottle line and the soap drops right in. Then the boxes go to a box taper, which always makes me laugh because it looks like the box is getting a kick in the pants. Lastly, we have the pallet builder. And voila, a finished pallet of soap ready to be shipped out. From up here, you get a great view of the plant floor. When we moved in here four years ago, we thought it would take us 10 years to use all this space. However, as you can see, there's hardly a square inch available. What a change from the tenement apartment where my grandfather began. And from here, you get a view of another highlight of the floor, the label racks. Not only are the label rolls beautiful, but they represent the global reach of our products, bringing excellent soap and a message of world unity to all people. 
It's a joy to see the different translations, French, German, Spanish, Hebrew, and more. And the Hebrew label for Israel is particularly moving in light of my grandfather's Jewish roots. One of my early jobs at the plant was stickering the Canadian bottles with bilingual labels. I am glad we have machines for that now. Thanks for joining me and the Dr. Bronner's liquid soap production team for a tour around our home base. We'll see you the next time we go green. All one!